and for if you're new to my channel thank you so so much for stopping by don't forget to subscribe on your way out and thumbs up for weekly baskets and I urge you if you don't do weekly baskets to go ahead and do it it will just help you to use our products in your collection to shop through your makeup and appreciate some of the things that you have not been using or even just enjoy new products you just hold so on to this week's basket and let's start with face all right, so if you're new, I do have a Project Empties and Finish 5x4, and I have products in those um, projects, so I am not going to like repeat things like foundation, that kind of stuff. So we'll link below those um, two tags. Well, one is a tag and the other project plan that I'm on, and so I have a couple of face products that are there that I'm not going to add. But in this week, I have... Um, added this buttercup sasha buttercup satin powder i recently hauled this the whole video will come soon want to use this to under my eyes and for my face and just see how it works just try it out contour i'm going to stick with a clean color you know i've been using this a bit i did create a get ready with me with this eye look i have swapped up the lips um i'll let you know in my lip section what i wear my lips but if you want to see a tutorial on this look get ready with me not tutorial get ready with me <laughs> um stay tuned this week you will see um how i created this eye look so for blushes i have um the one that is in my project empties and this new sasha blush which is called april's love and it is a gorgeous gorgeous and you know these things are like super pigmented so i'm just barely tapping reminds me of a pigmented lilac champagne so i want to check and see if that's any Jupiter my la femme blushes in addition to that i have this very natural soft revlon beyond natural pink rose bronzer and blush but i am thinking this could just warm up my cheeks um for a very natural neutral looks and i want to do a get ready with me using this also so it's in this week's basket for highlighters i have my ruby kisses again all over glow bronze and powder just this one this time in light bronze light glow sorry we'll be doing a review on the two that i have for you guys i have a little bit of the ben Ice banana powder in here just have to conceal i have two products this maybelline age rewind double face perfecter and this one is in 06 g6 so i'm thinking it's like a medium or something like that and then this santi color train one concealer and i did use this in my get ready with me purchase this from pennywise link the whole video for you guys and that is pretty much it for face um have a lot of eyes stuff and maybe a little more lip products too so let's get on to eyes for base and no for priming and base you have my regular stuff i did put in the maybelline color tattoo and tougher stove because i need to use it it's just like drying off on me peoples you can see the crack when i was pressed it's pulled from the sides when i'm pressing it in it's pretty dry so want to really i know i can't finish it in a project pan but i really want to make an effort i have a couple others that i use as bases and these are the long lasting lustrous eyeshadows um festivity i have these again because i didn't get to do the review this is party this is like um smoky color soiree another kind of pinky color we have gala which is like your burgundy color and then the nice champagne color is called toast which is gorgeous eyeshadows don't have too too much this is in my um finish five by four tag well two co one color in here and i just decided i've been loving just using the matte colors in here and i'm thinking i want to do a review on this palette so it's in this week's basket my malibu glitz in number two which is the smoky ones did use it for this eye look then i recently hauled this beauty treats um 10 color perfect eye palette so this, it ha there's two of them but i don't see like say a specific number with, and this may have been one of the older palettes or new I don't think it's new because I'm not seeing expiration dates and recently their new palettes all carrying expiration dates just saying I don't know just saying then I was recently gifted this um, palette I have a whole video with stuff I purchase and gifts and I want to use it if for those of you who have not seen this palette this is what it looks like super gorgeous got it from super makeup addicted 
and this one is in the sultry and neutrals people I have been yet to swatch this palette because it is so super gorgeous uh, like the orange well the greens like totally up my alley and then the oranges are like so I have to use it I know I have to have to use it but it's just so so gorgeous in addition to that silent treatments because I want to do a one palette look with the trio mascara primer as usual from clean colors and the mascaras I have a couple here I have the Smashbox full exposure I have makeup forever here it was a sample then I have the stimulash from Malibu Glitz I have my super eye opener these two are actually starting to finish already and then this extreme mascara from Malibu also I've actually incorporated this waterproof mascara top coat from elf have used it quite a bit last week my Fabri brow in taupe then um, eyeliner added this other one for smoky eyes that I want to play around with this is the scandalized from Ramel waterproof coal cudgel and this is in sparkling black I did use it for this look and you can see the sparkles hello and then these two graphics um, eyeliner that I just love to use for that little pop of color and I saw that I forgot to add these two but these are like MAC pigments this one is in lavender and humid I just decided to throw them in because guess what I've had them and I have not been using them at all so let's get on to the lip products lip products I have um, lip liners that I need 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 to finish in addition what I am wearing on my lips is this me now long lasting lip gloss in number 29 can I just say I love this this color is like popping I didn't do my whole video where I I hold a couple well of these so I may have like 15 in my collection I will do updated swatch video for you guys on these but I love I love this color number 29 love 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 it actually looks like it's um frosty but when applied it's like matte so hello and I have two Milani lipsticks here this one is in flamingo pose and this one is violet volt I have a Maybelline here in lavender voltage vampy purple hello. <laughs> then I have this back to fuchsia from Ramel mm, I love this it's a gorgeous gorgeous color I have three of these lip glaze this one is in bombshell we have koi and baby doll and then lastly we have these two matte soft matte lip creams this one is in Amsterdam and this one is in Addis Ababa I killed these last week oh my gosh or the week before I've been using this back to back and I've been loving 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 these um if you've heard reviews about it and people say they are great yeah everything everybody has actually said about them once they said they were great mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so that's it for this week's basket hope you guys enjoyed and thank you so much for stopping bye and i know this week came like so soon and i was so surprised that it was another weekly basket time but say what love my weekly baskets i hope you guys enjoyed this basket and yeah reviews coming this week it's gonna be uh august it's going to be just like reviews coming your way promise you guys that so oh before I forget if you're not subscribed you need to because I have like three giveaways coming soon really not lying not joking you want to stay tuned to this channel go ahead and subscribe and thumbs up this video for weekly baskets and giveaways